Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband with a Between Empires mod. Last time around, we were trying to fabricate a claim towards Great Britain. We're still doing that, and hopefully that should be accomplished this episode, and so that we will be able to declare war on Great Britain. As you can see, I've got a new advisor, Kirby Silverstone. Uh, Sylvester, I mean. I don't know. I changed his name. And we're going to change his name just because I said it wrong. Um, I decided, or decided, I went through a tavern randomly. I thought I had everyone. I thought I'd, like, gathered most of the companions. But clearly I didn't. Um, not that it's super surprising that there's still, you know, ancillary characters you can add to your to my party given just the vast amount of towns and it's almost impossible to find any of these unless you you know complete go around checking every single tavern everywhere all the time um i thought maybe because the uh, advisor you normally have the kind of standing advisor um that um if you're replaced and put a new character like we have here, then maybe we would get some extra um, sort of um, maybe some new um, options here. But I'm not entirely sure. I don't think we did because I can't see anyone anything extra here. So that doesn't matter. Um, I guess the second thing is that because he... What did he do there? It's almost like he... Uh, whatever. Um... So, he's, he was looking around all the time, and then he's staring at me. I was looking away. I was looking at the screen. It almost like he his face lunged against me. Anyways, I, I'll have to see that in the replay. Maybe he did that. Maybe he didn't. Really poor relation, but I just hired him. So I just hired someone in a tavern. Two minutes later, I put him as the prime minister of my empire. But that none of that's... Business. Anyways, so I'm not entirely sure. I think this guy might be better because I... But I don't know exactly what points you're supposed to put putting in. So I put all his points into intelligence and uh, the charisma. So, and then I bumped up uh, his um, persuasion. I imagine that's going to be useful since he's mostly used as kind of a diplomat or, you know, interior ministry as well. Scratching his butt like you did right there. Um, where you can, you know, do... You can either send stuff to foreign countries. Or you can do stuff within your own country. Anyways, enough of that. We're waiting still for... Well, st still for permission to visit the lady. Um, but also, of course, on uh, fabricating a claim for Craig Brennan. With my new... Prime Minister. Hopefully, this will go faster, because he's a lot smarter, I think, than uh, the other one. And, um... What's this? Kingdom of Sweden, Workers' Union. They have so many factories, Sweden. I saw Denmark. Denmark had a few before. Uh, actually, I want to take a look at that. I've been building tons of factories now. Like, I've managed to... I think we've set it up so I've got as many factories... As I possibly can, or at least that we can have workers to work in. Um, but what I want to take a look at was just quickly here. So Sweden has been building a lot, but also uh, Denmark. Denmark has a steel plant. Great, uh, Great Britain got one. Spanish Empire got one. Italy got one. We've got 12. I thought we had 14. Have I lost two that I missed? Have I lost two factories? I'm pretty sure we've, previously we've had uh, 14. Lumber, I've got 19. The, the thing is, because you don't have really an overview of like, oh, now you have these many factories being built and so on. I've just been building a lot of them because uh, I, I, the demand was so high. Um, so I needed a lot of them. 
Now I've completely outstripped my demand because it's about 5,000 and we're now supplying 7,000 with 19 factories. Quality of the product is shit though at 23% compared to if you look at the others with Britain 91, Sweden. Sweden's got three lumber factories. I don't know where they put all because I think they've got like one town. So it's all in Stockholm that's like packed full with factories. I also don't get, know where they get the money or why they are like one of the few nations that actually build factories. Um, you can see, well, we're not as bad as the Swiss lumber factories. That's 8%. That's god awful. Uh, clothing been increased to seven factories. We still don't make enough. We still make only about half of all the clothes that's needed. Um, so I guess some people, some people just have like pants and other people just have jackets. To kind of, that would be awful uh, for those that just have the pants. Or no, the other way around. <laughs> just, no, I got that wrong. Yes, I want to go flapping around in the wind. Um, paper? Paper. I mean, we have a demand of 10,000. I've managed to build seven factories, but those seven factories are only supplying 2,700. Um... So that is definitely needing to increase, and I have increased the amount of paper. Paper must be pretty expensive, though, because uh, in terms of compare world supply, which is 7,000, to world demand, which is 20,000. Machine parts, because of all the factories that are increasing, we're actually now in high demand of machine parts. Machine parts, there are not a lot of them in the world. We are supplying about 1300, which is almost all of the machine parts being made in the world because it's just currently they're supplying 16, uh, 1600. Uh, Sweden again have two of those factories somehow. We've got six. Uh, furniture, demand for furniture is still high. We managed to do half of it though with just five factories, which is pretty good. Overall in the world, the demand for, for uh, furniture is even higher. It's also, the thing is, I think quality increases over time. Because um, the furniture factories, we've had them for a long time. And they're at 91% quality. So I think as time goes along, it will increase. And it has something to do as well with literacy. Which you can see, even with such a huge country as we, as we are, with 155 million people, we have 78% uh, literacy, which is one of the highest. The only highest is like the Sweden, Denmark, and Norway. So the. Well, there, the Kingdom of Netherlands got 95. They're the world leaders there. They've also very urbanized. I don't know if that goes hand in hand with urbanization. Uh, our urbanization is not as large as the Netherlands. 37%. Still pretty good if you compare with Russian Empire 13. Um, yes, where are we off to next? Construction material. Construction material has increased very much. And I think that's also just because of all the factories we've been building. Um, currently we have seven of them. And we're supplying about half of what's needed. Fabric. Uh, I've got 11 fabric factories. And the thing is, like, we've seen here, 11 factories only produce 4,000. So it's very different in how many do you need comparatively. Also, the British ones seem to be a lot more effective in fabric factories because they've got two. And they're all almost supplying half of what I'm doing with 11 factories. Could be just that we have a hard time getting a hold of cotton from the Americans. Uh, military supplies, good. The demand is 1,000. We're, uh, we're making 1,600. Weaponry, also good. We have an advantage of 300. And similarly, with ammunition, raw material, wood. I mean, we are in high demand of wood. We need 17,000 wood. We only supply 5,000. Really, we need to conquer all of Russia to get that. I don't know. I, I mean, it would be nice, I guess, 
further on if you could actually you know you could go into the small villages and you can build like the the mills and stuff like that it would be nice further on if you could go in and you know building up those vi small villages you could build stuff there to increase the raw material output um, as a thing very little wood in Afghanistan which is maybe no surprise um, yes because I mean something like you know flour we're in demand of 25,000 tons and we only supply 5,000 and in terms of the world there's missing about 50 thousand tons of flour which is pretty insane um, cotton here our demand should be really high 4,000 we're the highest one out of all this here I guess no one else is wearing clothes um, in terms of size Russia is the one that comes closest but they're only demanding I guess they don't wear cotton clothes uh, meat also completely awful with 2000 but yeah we've gone through all that anyways i'm building factories all over the place like tons of factories all over the place so hopefully that should work out um really don't have anything else planned i did the bear mission afterwards and um that worked out fine i halved or cut it in half because there was minus four before now it's minus two. The problem was I was going to do another one. But he wanted me. He wanted me to take cattle from Berlin. And this is this is in the system that they implemented. Where the cattle follows you. This is the one where you have to go and. You know kind of uh, actually herd the cattle. That kind of system. And I would have to do that all the way. All the way down. Let's see where he wanted it. He wanted me to go all the way down. We're almost there, I think. There. Lahore. He wanted me to go all the way to La Lahore. From Berlin. Just the, the task of that is immense. And, like, I don't... Like, pff, Dude. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, so we're gonna sit here. We're gonna wait for our... Uh, Jir is 1920. We're gonna see if we can get a um, course to go to war with Great Britain. And I'm gonna see if the lady allows me to visit her. And we'll go from there. They're also, they're also, this, were the internal politics. So we might have to put down another revolt. The, it's the military at 52%. So, we're probably going to have to do that as well. But yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, run through. And see if we can't uh, get into a battle. There we go. As suspected socialist movement uprising. With armed elements belonging to the entire spectrum of national politics and open... F and open fights and associations in the street of our nation... Civil war seems to be inevitable. Socialist militiamen have rallied in the capital in the industrial centers and seem to be set on overthrowing the national government, while multiple protests have uh, devolved into outright riots, setting the administration buildings ablaze in an ultimate escalation of tension. Obviously, I'm not going to join them, because why would I want to step down as emperor of my own empire? So, we're going to suppress the rebels by force. I must say, I'm a little bit sad that there's only 234 of them. I would be hoping we would get 400, or similar to what they got in Portugal. But at the same time, I, maybe I should be pleased that there aren't actually that many ready to rise up against my empire. They're running from me. What do I... Do they even have cavalry in their ranks? 
They do not intend. What do you want? Surrender or die as you wish. Prepare to die. We have 158 troops fit for battle against their 234. Let's go ahead and start this battle, shall we? It kind of looks like the stormtroopers are faster. Or the way they run, they seem to be faster. They run so fast, they run further than I than's needed. Let's go ahead and set up the cannons. Do I? Oh yeah, my machine guns as well. But let's not have them run through all was right at the beginning. I ne I think I, I would never give you a machine gun. Right. We fired a volley at them. Disperse the crowds, I said. In an anger. In high anger. Right. Dig for victory. Get the other two lines up here. Right. Disperse the crowds. Fire! We'll have the other two lines. Dig in. Machine guns need to be placed in the front. The field guns need to be uh, f set at an elevated position. And the heavy artillery needs to be ready to fire gas. And so everyone needs to put their gas mask on, including the machine guns. Can I get the machine guns maybe to set up there? Right, I should join. Oh, they're coming close now. Okay, we didn't disperse the crowd with that shot. Why am I not going full auto with this? We need to fire another round. Fire! Maybe once I that guy is coming a bit too close for me. Fire! He's coming for the Emperor! Tempt. Damned these socialists. Alright, I'm gonna order the heavier howitzer battery to fire gas on the crowd. And then we're gonna tell it to fire at my command. Oh, it fired only towards the closest right. So we're only gassing that part. What's the point of having a submachine gun if I can't machine gun? How many men have I actually lost here? Ooh, we have lost quite a few. The enemy is walking into the gas and that's getting them to retreat. Slowly but surely, I'm losing quite a lot of people. Right, give them another volley. Disperse the crowds. Disperse the bastards! Disperse them! Having difficult with this uh, bastard of a uh, gun. Right. They're still coming at us. Right. Full fledged fire! Murder every single one of them.
Ooh. I wish you could uh, take control of one of these. Is my horse still there? Yes, it is. I'm gonna order everyone to charge. Out the trenches, over the top. Let's go ahead and see if the heavy howitzers are ready to uh, fire gas. Yes, they are. Let's get another proper volley of gas going into uh, the enemy. And my troops sally forth. Break the spirit of the socialist revolutionaries. Surprisingly tough fight, this one. There is still 28 enemies riding about. Doing some drive buying here. <laughs> he almost... he tried to stab me, the bastard. Would you not surrender if the Emperor came riding straight at you? Wielding a submachine gun? You think you can shoot me? Ah, oh, you shot my horse! That's what I think about that. I didn't need to shoot this guy. And now, no, 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 no! Stay there, stupid horse. I'll take... I'll take a command of another horse. I Surrender your horse. And you will surrender your horse. You will surrender yours, and you over there will die as well. And maybe I should actually pick up a lance. Because I'm all out. Let's see if I can line this up. Oh, I missed him. Let's see about lining it up against this guy. Right here. Right there. <laughs> I rode onto him. Alright, I'm not gonna get, be able to get it that way. No, what is going on there? How close do I need to be to these bastards? Okay, I don't think it works doing that kind of couch lance. I need to stab. Stabity stab. Ooh. Stupid horse. It's not strong enough. Would you look at that? Looks pretty powerful to me. Explosions going off in the back. Where's the last enemy troop? Right. It's over the hill. Over there. Wide for victory. There's a Lanza. We have won the fight. But you think I'm going to leave where there's still rebels? On the field. Now I believe they're all gone. And my soldiers are cheering for my victory. The revolutionaries are taken down. And there we go. Surprisingly high casualties on our side. 86 men.
out of 155, I think. And 33 of them were actually killed. Which is really bad. Compared to the enemy, though, they lost 110 with 185 killed, 23 wounded, and 2 routed. 2 routed on either side. I have 76 troops fit for battle against there. 26. No point in fighting this last one. So I'm going to order my troops to attack without me. That went fine, except for the fact that we lost 4 people against there. Uh, I guess I could take some of their, their guys on, but no. Oh, we got a bunch of crap. Absolute crap. Right. That's done. Let's see if we can't... I mean, at this point, it's, the episode is kind of dragging on. I don't want to make it too long. Um... Let's see if we at least can get a visit with the lady. Maybe that will work out. Because I'm also worried because a lot of the nations we have been at war with... Um, the... Um, can I visit the guards? Glare at you! And you know better than to ask... Go with the nurse. Um, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so the nurse, she whispers, uh, do, Dawn this dress and throw a hood over your face. I will smuggle you inside the castle to meet her in guise of a scullery maid. The guards will not look too carefully, but I beg you, for all our sakes, be discreet. I'm unst You do still realize that I am the emperor, right? Go with the nurse. Oh la la. You know what I said earlier about... Some half the country not having pans, and the other country not having uh, good thing. This the, the, uh, I'm gonna censor it for you guys, but damn! Oh la la! I'm more interested in your nurse right about now. You do realize she's standing there naked, All right? Anyways, um. Hello, how are you? Right. What kind of... What? I can't remember how I did her voice. So I'm just going to do... I think I... Hello, Kaiser John. Something like that. But not a little bit more... I tweak it a little bit. It's most delightful to have a chance to spend some time together. How much good it does my heart to see you again. Sometimes I feel that there's a mystic bond between us that transcends the distance. Oh my. It's. <laughs> is this some kind of, you know, star sign bullshit? A Taurus rising kind of stuff? Oh, you're a Taurus rising. I totally. That totally makes sense because I'm a fucking asp 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 asparagus. Asparagus falling. Why is it all rising? Can it be falling sometimes? Maybe it will all falling. I mean, you would want to rise, don't you? I want to know the location of someone. I urgently am stuck in here just to know the location of the uh, marshal. No. Um, let's honor of knowing something. I am the daughter of Logic One Bros. Oh yeah, we've already asked through this. So, is there anything else? Um, perhaps, madam, do you like some poetry? That depends on the poem, didn't it? Right. Well, the silks of Aluka and the furs of Quran. A conversation in the garden. I cannot understand the lady in the poem. If she loved the man, why does she tease him so? Yeah, I wonder about that. All the hurdles I have to jump through to get in here. Time's passing quickly. We cannot linger here any longer. Alright, so you're kicking me out now. But answer me this. Do you think we have a future together, my lady? Sure. It is comforting to hear that your intentions towards me are honourable. 
but perhaps we should take the time to get to allow our affections for each other to grow a little bit stronger before making such a decision. Right, I mean, this is only the second time we've met. So, very well. I will continue to strive to your worthy esteem. And clearly I need a lot more poems. Let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and check. Three? Three? It's the poem of Luca, Furs of Verdun. Here's another fur piece for you guys. Uh, definitely gonna, definitely gonna, you know, remove that part, but... <clears throat> right, uh, let's ask the mayor. Do you have a job? Or oh, Lahore, no. And for that much money, you know I have like a billion marks. I th at this point, I'm kind of starting to think that they bugged and we're never going to fabricate a claim on Great Britain because it must have been a year or half a year and I'm going to go ahead and ask him here. I guess we... The thing is, the problem is, if I declare war... Uh, let's see. Fabricate. We're still already... Creating because of a great British Empire. Damn. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to punch you in the face. I was just a bit angry. Um, I guess I could declare directly, but we would. Let's see. What if I decide to declare war? What does he say then? If send out an emissary. Great British Empire. I'm afraid we do not have justification for the conflict at this point in time. We can naturally still declare war on Great on the British Empire. I don't know why I'm saying great all the time. It's our enemy after all, the pitiful British Empire. But expect international pressure to mount extremely quickly and for it to put us in the crossfire on future ongoing conflicts. Right, hold it then. We cannot get ourselves condemned by a dozen nations at once. Well, we can. Pretty sure we have no one at our border that we're really worried about. I guess, I mean, you know, Russians could have recovered. The Austro-Hungarians are strong. Although, we have been at war with Austro-Hungary, but they haven't really moved against us. I can't remember the last time anyone... T I mean, it was only really in the beginning when the stockpiles of arms were available for everyone that the um, Russians were actually taking ground quite a bit. But then we completely broke the Russian Empire and we moved in so far that we still hold small ends, right? So we've taken so much from them. You know, I flower. I need a lot of flour. I needed what well, the demand in the world was like twenty-five thousand or something. Twenty-five. You know, a lot of it that would be in the Kiev region. Kiev region. Um, plus, there's probably a lot of wood there to be captured. Right. So I guess you know. I think we just ran out of time. Next time, um, we'll definitely declare war. On Great Britain because we'll definitely have a reason to go to war even if it needs to be like 1925 or something for us to actually figure out something to uh, declare war the, over with, with them over um, but yeah um, I guess this is the end we did fight the rebels and that's about it Obviously, we made some ground with... I can't even remember what her name is, but is that really important? Who knows? Um, I, I'd say, we, yeah, we're... we're um, is that really important when we're on that Sigma grind set to create the, the United European Empire under the German banner? Um, anyways... Uh, I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.